This location is our place this year for our fourth future talk. Other companies maybe would call that think tank or a communication lab. We call it extended Wohnzimmer because it's a discussion place, a network place, and we invite people here to get interesting dialogues. And the topic of this talk is human-centered artificial intelligence. An artificial intelligence is designed to take new problems and learn to solve them as quickly as possible based on all the prior knowledge that it has acquired before. And so over time it's trying to become a better problem solver. And then based on this increasing skill repertoire, learn new things even faster. I think in the near future we are going to have superhuman pattern recognition all over the place in many, many domains and uh, this is going to completely change the field of self-driving cars. When I came to Daimler, this is 30 years ago, I dreamt about autonomous driving cars that go by themselves. I did not expect that we would come to this point where we are today. On the other hand, it's 25 or 30 years ago and it was predictable that the computer would become so powerful that we can now understand images like you. I think that, of course, technology is very important because it can be helpful, but it has to be under the control of humans. Machine intelligence will never be human intelligence. Human intelligence is unique. It's actually probably unique in the universe because our evolutionary process was unique. There is no blueprint to build an organism and you simply cannot reproduce that in a machine. So in my opinion it's a very central debate uh, at this moment in our species history because I don't want our species to become a machine. Well, I think we are in a kind of a crossroad and we have to check out what's the role of us human beings what are we? That's a strong question today. What are we? Yeah, like in neuroscience, you learn about the brain. And on the other hand, technology, digital technology, robots, the physical world, uh, how will that develop and how will it interact? That's now the key question. So right now we are developing a Mercedes-Benz chatbot where you as a customer, you can log in Facebook, for example. You can open the Mercedes-Benz website. You can start a chat. Ask a question to Mercedes-Benz and you get provided with an answer immediately. I'm looking forward to the technology uh, artificial intelligence because it opens us a lot of doors and it helps us to make uh, the whole mobility different. It's going to be a game changer, I'm convinced.